A local mom is suing Edward Waters College, saying her daughter was raped during a trip the college hosted in 2016. According to the lawsuit, the attack was at a Holiday Inn in Athens, Georgia. The woman spoke by phone with News 4 Jacks reporter Janice Harris, who has been reviewing the lawsuit and the police report. She's joining us now live. Janice? You know, and the man that is accused of this rape, there is an arrest warrant out for him for the statutory rape charge. And we also just heard from Edward Waters College in the last hour. In part, this is what they had to say. They fully appreciate the sensitivity of this matter. They respect the rights of all involved and take it seriously. All of the issues involving the safety and overall well-being of all participants in any of the college's affiliate programs. A Jacksonville mom is suing Edward Waters College for negligence. She says her 14-year-old daughter was raped during a trip sponsored and operated by the college. The teen's mom talked to me by phone from the office of her attorney, Ted Pina. What has been the impact on the family? I entrusted, you know, this institution to make sure that my daughter was safe and they didn't follow through with what was promised. To me as a parent. According to the police report, a group of teens were taken to Athens, Georgia by Edward Waters College in June 2016 and stayed at the Holiday Inn. The group was there with chaperones in EWC's Upward Bound program, a college outreach program. The family's attorney believes EWC failed the 14-year-old girl. We believe in addition to not supervising properly, we believe that there were some training issues in terms of the people who were sent along as chaperones. The 14-year-old girl told police, quote, she told Daniel to stop, but he did not. Daniel held her hands down during the incident. Afterwards, she returned to her room. Police documents show his roommate told officers, quote, he was present in the room while Daniel and an unknown girl were having sex. Daniel Dobson is charged with misdemeanor statutory rape. He has not been arrested. He was 17 at the time. According to the police report, Dobson said, quote, he did not have sex with the teen and, quote, she was never in his room. We called Daryl Dobson to get his side of the story. But he didn't answer. It was a traumatic experience, and, and frankly, going through this litigation is, is going to be difficult for them as well. A traumatic experience that the family says never should have happened. And this incident happened in 2016. Some of you may wonder, well, why are we just hearing about this lawsuit now, or why did they take this long? Because the mother said she wanted the investigation to happen first. She wanted to wait until the Athens police could do their investigation. Live downtown, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.